as most of you know every day we try to pick one deet code one interview experience from deet code and try to solve all the interesting question of that interview experience not only that we also try to solve all the possible follow ups of that particular question that can be asked during an interview so we have already solved a lot of interview experiences from microsoft facebook amazon and others i will link them in the description below do check them out uh, you will be amazed to see how a very easy problem turns into a very hard problem of deet code so do check them out in this particular video we will be looking at the this linkedin interview experiences of january the first question we will be not we will not be discussing because we have already discussed this kind of question uh, several times in our in our channel i will link some of these some of the questions that are of similar type in the description below i will strongly encourage you to solve it on your own and if you have any doubts you can link it uh, you can comment down below and i will answer them or if you want me to create a separate video for this particular question uh, do mention it below i will create that as well let's just discuss the second problem so the second problem is basically we are given an integer n and we have to transform this integer n to zero by performing some operations we have to we can perform two type of operation the first operation is change the rightmost bit to zero uh, if it is like change the rightmost bit basically if it is zero change it to one if it is one change it to zero similarly the second operation is we can change the ith bit uh, if i minus one ith bit is one and all the bits after i minus 1 which is i minus 2 to 0 all are zero so we have to find the minimum number of minimum number of operations that will be required to make this n to zero so let's understand this in example so let's say the number is 11000 uh, then we can apply the second kind of operation so first operation is i think very straight forward just change the rightmost bit so second second operation like if this is the number we can change this to this because this is the ith bit let's assume so i minus 1 ith bit is 1 that's correct uh, and all the bits after i minus 1 is 0 so that's where the, we can apply second kind second operation second type of operation here to convert this to this but notice that we can't uh, if the number is this we can't convert it to uh, this because i ith bit is like if this is i ith bit then this is one that's fine but after this not all of them are zero like this is not zero right so that's where we can't perform this operation so hope the question is now clear now let's just look at an example let's say uh, we have to convert this uh, convert 6 to 0 and you have to find the minimum number of operations to do that so 6 is represented as 110 in binary so here what we have done is we have first performed the second kind of operation so this is the ith bit and we can see i minus 1 bit is 1 and all the bits after this is 0 so that's where we can we have performed second kind of operation to come to this stage from here we performed the first kind of operation to change the rightmost bit from here we again performed the second kind of operation so basically this is the ith bit in this case Uh, so i minus 1 bit is 1 and all the bit after this is 0 so there is nothing after this so we can assume that everything is 0 so that's where we have performed uh, this to and change this one to 0 after this we again perform the first kind of operation to change this rightmost bit to 0 so in total we have performed four operations to make this 6 to 0 right so that's the answer now as i keep on saying in every video if the question is difficult try to solve a simpler version of the question so in this case a one simpler version could be let's try to solve the case where there is only one bit set so let's say this is the question uh, and we have to convert this to zero by applying these two set of operations only so now how to do that first of all uh, let's think of what all operations we can actually apply 
So this operation we can apply every time because this is just the setting the right, like changing the rightmost bit. But the second operation is quite interesting. Notice that we have to change this particular bit to zero, right? So we can do this only with second operation. So first operation only allow you to change the rightmost bit. But if you want to change any other bit, you have to use second operation. So here we have to change this bit to zero, right? Our finally final goal. So we have to use second kind of operation. Now, once we are sure that we are using second kind of operation, it indirectly means that we have to convert this to this somehow. Like somehow, uh, first this this will be made, and from here we will then convert this. We will then apply the second kind of operation to convert this to this. Basically, to make the first bit as zero. So, like now, if this part is clear, then what is left is we have to convert this zero 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 to one zero zero somehow. So our question now becomes that we have to convert this zero 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 to one zero zero by applying the same kind of operations. So this is equivalent. To saying that we have to convert one zero zero to zero zero zero. Okay, so this this two are the same thing. Now let's assume that total x number of steps are required to do so. Okay, so we have performed x number of steps to convert this to this. Then we have performed one more step to convert this to this, and then we have to perform again x number of steps to convert this to zero 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 zero. Because, as as we have discussed, like converting zero 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 to one zero 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 required x step. So converting one zero zero to zero 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 will also require x step. So that's why we are doing like that's what we are doing here. Like converting this one zero zero to zero 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 will require x step. So in total, we require two x plus one number of steps to convert this one zero 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 to zero 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 zero, where X is the number of steps required to convert 100 to 000 or 000 to 100. Now let's name this uh, uh, 100 thing. So let's say uh, if ith bit or let's name it j. So if jth bit is set, like well, as we have discussed, we have solved. We are solving the case where there is only one bit is set. So let's assume that if jth bit is set, the answer is denoted by f of j. Okay, so f of j comes out to be two into x. So what is x? X is nothing but f of j minus one, right? So basically, uh, x denotes the number of uh, number of steps required to convert one zero zero to two zero zero zero. So if here if uh, j is you can see j is zero one two three third position. So And one zero zero here j is second position, right? So that like if f of j denotes the number of uh, steps required to convert an integer with jth bit set to zero zero zero, then this is nothing but f of j minus one, right? So what we have found is f of j is nothing but two into f of j minus one plus one. Okay. So if you don't understand this uh, equation. I will strongly encourage you to rewind the past five minutes of the video and rewatch it to understand this, because this is the core of the solution. Now, it like what does it mean? It means like let's say like we know f of one, right? F of one is nothing but uh, the number of steps required to convert the uh, or basically we know f of zero. Like zero is the number of steps required to convert the zero it uh, to convert the number with zero it bit set. So basically, if the number is one, which is and we have to convert this to zero, then this is f of zero. So what is the number of steps required here? So the, uh, one is the last bit, right? So we can apply simply apply the first kind of operation and to convert and convert this to zero. So f of zero is one. Now with this equation, f of one would be three. Basically, one into two plus one. Similarly, f of two uh, would be seven. Three into two plus one, and so on and so forth. So, 
now hope this part is clear now if you remember we had solved this part as a easier version of the original question we haven't solved the original question yet so now let's look at how to solve the original question wherein we might have more than one bit set so till now we have solved uh, we, we we have solved one question wherein we are saying only the jth bit is if only the ith bit is set the number of steps or j if only jth bit is set then the number of steps required is f of j minus 1 cross 2 plus 1 so we already know all the answers for uh, converting 1 to 0 for converting 2 to 0 uh, for converting 4 to 0 uh, for converting 8 to 0 and so on and so forth basically all the numbers which have only one bit set we already know the answer for all of them uh, with this equation okay now let's add one more bit to our uh, question so let's say we want to convert this to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. okay now think about it so if you remember from 1 0 uh, from uh, basically 1 0 0 0 0 we have converted this to this and in between we saw that this is number was coming right because what we have said is we convert this to this and then from here to there right so this one the converting this 1 0 0 to 0 0 0 has this part plus this part right and what we require actually is this part so what is this part this part is nothing but uh, if, if you just want to find this part this part is nothing but uh, the number of steps required to convert this to this like this total path and minus number of steps required to convert this to this right so let's let's uh, formalize it so basically we are trying to find or uh, this time let's not denote it by f let's denote it by uh, f dash okay so we are finding 1100 answer number of steps required to convert this to 000 so what we have said is this is nothing but the number of steps required to convert this to this minus number of steps required to convert this to 0, 0, 0. why basically we already seen that this path this entire this integer comes in between this conversion so this is like this entire conversion consists of the steps required to convert this from this and then from here to here so if we want the number of steps to convert from here to there we only require this part uh, like this entire path minus this path so this path is nothing but to convert 000 to 100 right so that's what this path is so we have just found we have just come up with this solution okay now this like if you look at this it is now clear that what we are actually doing so now let's say let's talk about the three uh, the case where there are three bit set so let's say this is the case that we are looking at or let me just change the color so let's say this is the case that we are looking at and you have to convert this to uh, this so what we can say is the value of like the answer for this is nothing but uh, the value of this f of 1 0 0 0 0 0 minus f of 0 1 0 0 1 0 okay that's the answer now how to find this is again the same same like uh, we have if we want to find this this is again the same kind of equation like if we uh, let's break this as well so what we'll say is the steps required here is this minus f of uh, 0 0 0 1 0 okay so that's what the number of steps is so now you can see uh, this is zero so now you can see what we are doing is the first bit for the first bit we are adding this to our answer then for the second bit 
we are subtracting like if we just uh, like this entire thing will be in braces right so if we just open up the brace this will be minus and this will be plus so for the second thing for the second bit we are subtracting it then for the third bit we are again adding it similarly if there are other bits we will again subtract it and then add it so what we are doing on every like we will start with the first bit we will add that to our answer then for the second bit we will subtract that to our answer then for the third bit we will again add that to our answer so what intuitively what is happening is we are saying that to go from here to there like from this particular thing to 0000, 000, 000, 000 we will encounter like we first go we will first think of going from this uh, this entire like the the set where is only one bit is set and uh, which is the largest bit now in the path of going from here to here we will encounter this particular thing so let's subtract that path from here and we will get the answer so now when we subtract the path from here this is again the same problem where we are trying to say what is the number of steps required to go from here to zero so you again for again do the same thing we will again know that to go from here to there we like if we start from uh, this particular step we will encounter this in between so let's just do this and then subtract the remaining part so that's what we are doing so the solution is very uh, simple for the first bit add f of that to the answer for the second bit my subtract f of that to the answer for the third bit again add f of that bit to the answer so let's try to look at the code quickly the code is very simple we just find f initially f of 0 as we discussed it's 1 and uh, all the other f we have just found with this simple equation f of j minus 1 cross 2 plus 1 now uh, we will check all the set bits so let's say this uh, this j bit is set so for the first j like uh, if it is the first bit we will add that if it is the second bit we will subtract that if it is the third bit we will add that and so on so what we have done is initially we will add this f of j to the answer then as soon as we add something we will re like uh, revert this 1 to 0 so if we will just, like we, will, we are just drawing it because drawing 1 with 0 will give us 1 uh, and drawing 1 with 1 will give us 1 0 so that's where we are just drawing this so after this if 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 value of plus is 0 then it will become 1 and if value of 1 was a uh, value of plus was 1 it will become 0 so that's basically after uh, whatever we have done in done with the jth bit for the next bit we will do the opposite so if we have added this before we will just subtract this afterwards so add first then subtract then again add then first subtract so so on and so forth until we have exhausted all the set bits of this uh, n and finally written the answer so hope you understand the solution I will link this problem and the interview experience in the description below. In the next video, we will be covering uh, the next set of question, which is this and this. So stay tuned for the next video. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. As I told, I am regularly publishing the video every day for different interview experiences. So until then, see you.